Hey guys, this is Miss Dupe, and today we are talking about same side angles in our transversal angles unit. This is going to be page 11 for my students, and we are going to first start going over some definitions. So our first definition is same side interior. These are angles <clears throat> inside the parallel lines. on the same side of the transversal. So just to review some vocab, these right here are our parallel lines. And then this line right here is called our transversal. Same side interior angles are the ones that are inside the parallel lines and they're on the same side of the transversal. So for example, angle four and angle six, and also angle three and angle five. And those are our only options for same side interior angles. We also have same side exterior. So these are angles outside the parallel lines. Oops, can't spell. Still on the same side of the transversal. So for example, we could have angle one and angle seven as same side exterior angles, or we could have angle two and angle eight as same side exterior angles. Now the special thing about these angles is that they are supplementary. So what that means is when we are trying to solve for the missing angle measure of these angles, these angles are gonna add up to 180 degrees. So for our first example, we have an angle that's 120 degrees, the other angle says 2x plus 48, and we need to solve for both x and the missing angle measure. So the first thing we are going to do is write an equation. I always like to start with the angle that includes x, so we're going to have 2x plus 48 plus 120 equals 180. Since both of these angles are supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees. The next thing I'm going to do is combine our like terms. So we are going to combine 48 and 120 together. So now we have, oops, 2x plus 168 equals 180. Now we need to subtract 168 from both sides. Bring down our 2x and our equal sign. and we get 12. Then we're gonna divide by two, and we get x equals six. So we know our x is six, and then the next thing we need to do is solve for the missing angle that's right here. So what we are going to do is plug six in for x in parentheses, and then plug that all in our calculator. So our missing angle is 60 degrees. And this makes sense because 120 plus our 60 from here equals 180 degrees. <clears throat> so for our next example, these are same side interior and we have two missing angles this time. So first we are going to write our equation 2x plus 43 plus 2x minus 3 equals 180. So the first thing we're going to do is combine our like terms. Our like constants are positive 43 and negative 3. Our like variables are 2x and positive 2x. So 2x plus 2x gets us a 4x. 43 minus 3 gets us a positive 40. Then we're going to subtract 40 from both sides. Bring down our 4x and our equal sign, and we get 140 
then divide by 4. So x equals 35. So now we know x. So the next thing we need to do is plug 35 in for both of our missing angles to solve. So the first one will have 2 parentheses 35 plus 43. That equals 113 degrees. Our second one is 2 parentheses 35 minus 3. That gets us 67 degrees. If you would like to check your answer, you can add up 113 and 67, and that should equal 180, which it does. Our last example we're going to go over, we have same side exterior angles, and you're going to set up your equation the exact same way. So 5x plus 20 plus 55 equals 180. We are going to combine our like terms of positive 20 and positive 55. <clears throat> so we'll end up with 5x plus 75 equals 180. Then we are going to subtract 75 from both sides, and we get 5x equals 105. Then we are going to divide by 5, and we get x equals 21. So now we know our x, and we need to use our x to figure out our missing angle. So we plug 21 in for x by using parentheses around 21. And that gets us 125. If you want to check your answer, you simply add 55 and 125, and those should equal 180 degrees. And that is that. I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you later.